what is going on guys welcome back to pokemon tcg center in today's video we'll be looking at a lot of an executor postertation build this is a very inexpensive deck uh, with a lot of fun to play um, tropical shake uh, a lot of an executor you can attack for one energy card for 120 um, tropical shake 20 plus 20 more for each different type of basic energy card in your discard pile you can't add more than 100 in that way but still you can swing for 120. There's a lot of different options uh, which you can actually um, tank in this deck, like for example Puzzle with the Sledgehammer, Nihiligo with the Void Tentacle, and of course that a lot of Nightless GX that can use Mysterious Guidance, help you to set up, help you to get those custom catchers, use Sublimation or maybe Snow Wind. A lot of different options, a um, lot of different options, um, very cool deck, and very interesting build. Um, so I'm gonna go from the left to the right and uh, we'll go quickly through the deck list and explain uh, why every card is here. Ditto pretty much because it can evolve from uh, Ditto into Wulpix or um, Executor. One copy of Buzzwell because it can one hit knockout if our opponent have four price cards with just a single energy Pika Zekrom. Uh, Nihil Ego because it can use any attack of our opponent Pokemon with the Nightcap if he, have, he or she have only two price cards left. Uh, four copies of Executes with Multiply because it can multiply, you know, another Execute on the bench. Three copies of Alon Executor with, you know, Dragon type and one with the Grass type. Why uh, three Dragons? Uh, well, just because you can much more easier set up with Mysterious Treasure, plus you can avoid one hit knockout with only two energies versus four energies versus Blacephalon, and that's the reason why. Pretty simple. Uh, two copies of Shackle that can be used with that free squeeze ability to get energies in the discard pile and also as um, support for that energy drink. Two of each, Vulpix and uh, Ninetals. I already explained why. And then from the uh, stadiums, we're gonna have one Shrine and two uh, Viridian Forests. So with Viridian, we can also discard some unnecessary cards later in the game like Elms and those energy cards. Um, with four copies of custom catchers, we can catch uh, something on our opponent bench. For the setup, four mystery treasures and four, four copies of netball, featuring four, uh, three copies of Pokinev, which I think I'm probably gonna try to substitute for four copies of Acrobike, should work much better in my opinion. Uh, one copy of Energy Recycle System. Uh, from the draw support, four of each Cynthia Lilies, and then four Professors Elm for the dead turn one setup. Very important. If we can get lucky with the Elm turn one, we can definitely set up Explosive. And then 12 energies, which six of them are going to be Grass energies, and other energies are going to be one Fairy because it can be used with the Ninetals, uh, one Fire because it can be uh, used with the Heat Factory if we play versus Fire decks, one Fighting Energy because it can be used with a, a Buzzwool, one Psychic Energy because it can be used with a Nile Ego, and actually I'm gonna need to add a Darkness Energy, just because if our opponent plays that Stadium which reduces the price card if we have Darkness Energy attached to it, oh actually it just, it just applies for the Darkness Pokemon so it doesn't matter too much, uh, for the rest of the two energies. So this is the deck list that I'm going to use in today's video. Make sure to hit a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this deck list. So um, see you in the game. Okay, so um, starting first, let's take a look at the opening hand and let's see what we can get. Well, one copy of Execute. Execute, not a bad start, but three copies of Lily is just horrible start if you're going to ask me. Other than that, there is a mystery treasure in, uh, in my hand available, maybe to discard that fighting energy as a top deck, um, which I'm not gonna do, um, which I'm actually gonna do, which I'm actually gonna do. And I'm just gonna grab that um, Naligo and put him on the bench. And look at the problem in the front, Ember. My opponent can simply Ember's me for 60 with one energy card because I have weakness. And I'm gonna need to find a way to, you know, basically remove my execute from play. And how in the world I can do that? Well, simply by retreating to maybe possible. But then even if I do that, I can theoretically help my opponent. And then he can simply Setup. So I'm just gonna 
stay with the execute in front. Who cares? It doesn't matter. Let's just do that. Um, he can knock me out, I guess. Um, then if he knocks me out, he will take one price card. I will have top deck custom catcher. Then I'm going to probably throw the custom catcher onto something on his bench just to get rid of the cards from my hand. I'm going to play energy. Then I will evolve my execute. Of course, there is an amber for the knockout. I think I'm probably just going to target that Saladin so he can't have that draw support. Um, that is actually on my mind. That is actually on my mind. Always is better to knock Charmander out, obviously, because he is the attacking Pokemon in this build. I still need one energy in my discard pile. Will I be able to get energy in my discard pile? Unfortunately, I won't. Actually, I will with the, the Shuckle Fresh Squeeze. I can do that. So I can have extra energies in my discard pile. So let it be Fairy for now. Alright, and Tropical Shake for 100. That's more than enough for the knockout. And the first prize card in the game, which is Viridian Forest, the card that I actually need so badly in order to get some more energies in the discard pile. Okay, Doki, there is a Pokemon Fan Club, which says that you can search a deck for up to two basic Pokemons, reveal them, put them into your hand. Hunter, not sure um, what evolution can do. Still, it is a my turn, and another Viridian Forest as a top deck. Really, not something that I need. But I guess I can grab that Psychic Energy, attach it to my Nile Ego, and then simply play Lily to get two more cards. Cynthia for the next turn, Tropical Shake ready. I'm hitting for like 120. Getting another prize card, which is Energy Recycle System, not the card that I need right now. But at least I guess I can recover my Grass Energy from this card and put it back into my hand. I think I'm not going to do that, at least not for now. And there's a Hunting with a Nasty Plot, which says that you can search a deck for a card, put it into your hand, and then shuffle your deck. And there is a Pokemon Communication, which might be for Charizard, no, for Salazzle. Alright, actually Nasty Plot, not a bad attack at all. Attack Operation, 50. If you have more cards in your hand than your opponent, this attack does 80, so like 130. Not a bad at all, not a bad at all. But there's like 7 cards sitting in my hand. But with Salazzle and Cynthia, my opponent can quickly go um, up to more than that. He already attached energy, which means that he can just Nasty Plot. Or did he attach energy? Not quite sure, but... There is a Charizard, which can swing for 30 plus 50 for each energy attached on the Charizard. And just for 130, which should not be enough for the knockout. And yeah, okay, right now it will be. How in the world did he get that energy? Did he play it? Why did he play it? What did he play? It? He didn't play the energy. All right. So he's going down to four prize cards, meaning that right now I'm gonna need my Boswell in order to swing with a sledgehammer. Luckily, super luckily, and extra luckily for me is that I have energy recycle system sitting in my hand. There we go. I'm gonna get that energy. I'm gonna get that fire energy into my discard pile. And then I'm just gonna throw the Cynthia down. Uh, being able to um, knock that Charizard out is definitely a big deal. Oh, resistance? No, oh, just a 120. All right, never mind, never mind, never mind. Why did I thought that it's 130? Um, okay, still, if you don't have Max Potion, I can simply knock him out or force him to knock himself out with uh, Roaring Resolve. So that is a good thing. That is actually a super good thing. So far, things going uh, doing good. There is a fire energy. So, I guess... I guess he can try to find a max potion or a heal card. Not sure if he play any of them. But... 
I didn't knock him out, which is a good thing because maybe by putting my Nihilus uh, in play, I can grab two custom catchers and uh, swing maybe even for a knockout at Hundum, but I will probably just uh, just go for the Salazzle so I can cut my opponent draw support. Um, because I can still use Sledge Hammer for 120, there is a Guzma. And it will be a knockout with the Amber, so he got me there with the Amber. Pretty dope play. Well, I guess I can't do nothing. Literally. Then just maybe swing with the sledgehammer. Um, I need to change a game plan a little bit here. So if I have two copies of custom catchers available, then I'm gonna throw down a professor's L. But I already played three executes, and this actually hurts my eyes. I still have that Dito available. At least that is something. Being able to set up execute as well as a Dito on the bench. So I can have more flexible options available. This time I should attach energy onto my Dito. Um, I can play two custom catchers at once in order to knock that um in order to knock that charizard out before that gonna throw that cynthia for one energy not the smartest thing in this format to throw um cynthia away just like that but since i'm already going down to three price cards and since i already have almost set up bench i guess i'm gonna do that what i can do with my nightcap um you can play uh, this attack only if your opponent exactly has two price cards remaining choose one of your opponent's pokemon's attacks and use it as this attack so i can basically swing with continuous plays but only for 30. i can swing with attack operation for 130. i can maybe use combustion for 60. not a lot of good options here not a lot of good options here that is for sure there is a rescue stretcher from the other side of the field. Yeah, with a little bit of handicap here I'm playing, unfortunately, without rescue stretcher and Guzma. And still doing pretty damn good. Still doing pretty damn good. I'm even surprised. I played all four custom catchers. I played um, one and only energy recycle system, meaning that I can't recover my um, fairy energy. Um, okay, maybe he missed the knockout here with continuous plays, maybe not, oh, not because it's uh, exactly 130. I'm swinging back for 120, so that is a good thing. Yeah, I will have enough for the knockout here with my executor. More than that, time to throw out that Professor Elm from my hand. Not too many options with that Vulpix, so we're just going to go with Cynthia, refresh the hand, try maybe to get that Ninetals, just in case, just in case, Tropical Shake for 120, still not enough for the knockout, once again, short for 10, and still my opponent will need to either way attach energies or knock himself out. However, he was down to only two cards, and he is still down to only two cards. And there is one Tremillion from his hand on the bench. Game is very close, game is very close, that's for sure. Um, who's gonna win then the end of the game? I have no clue, really hard to judge for me. Um, I would really appreciate to have options to grab that Fairy Energy into my hand and simply attach my nine tools and uh, swing with the um, snow wind for 70 and then snap something on the bench um, theoretically i could draw two price cards in that way um, he attaches energy from his hand onto the charmeleon meaning that he might just decide to pass the turn right now or maybe he will just try to play a guzma or something like that it's really hard to tell um, Really, really, really hard to tell. However, there is a Pokemon Fan Club for another two Charmanders. And my turn, so I can evolve into my Executor. And other than that, I can prepare my Shuckle with the Fresh Squeezed. 
Um, I can play Viridian Forest and knock that Elm out because I don't need him anymore. And there's literally nothing else that I can actually get and benefit from it. So let's just Tropical Shake. Wish I can actually retreat. Power up something else maybe with the uh, energy drink. Never mind. There is another um, Alone Executor. Really, really hard to retreat three... Um, Retreat cost Pokemon. And there is finally Charizard on the other side of the field. So if he have Guzma, he can resolve. Uh, he can uh, use that Roaring Resolve, um, get two more energies, play Guzma on the Ninetals, knock my Ninetals out for the last two prize cards. And this this is the case that's going to happen. And uh, even, uh, even I have much better and consistent deck on the paper, than my opponent really have. Um, he definitely lacks some of the supporter cards in his build, like um, I don't know, maybe maybe Cynthia's, maybe um, Lily's. Oh, actually, he played four Cynthia's. Yeah, he definitely lacks some of the uh, draw support. Maybe some other staple cards. Maybe maybe Marshall top of and stuff like that. Yeah, at the end, he managed to win. Um, yeah, probably he just runs those Salazzles, so that's the reason why he don't need actually. Um, Lilies, but in the end he won because he had that um, Guzman and he was able to knock my um, knock my basically um, Nightless from the bench for the last two price cards and that's the GG. Okay, so this time I have opportunity to start first if I win the coin flip, but unfortunately I didn't, so I'm gonna start second. Starting second with the current opening hand, I'm guessing just to start with a execute, put the puzzle on the bench, and see what I'm gonna face on the other side of the field. Well, there's a cliff I would say, which says that once you're gonna turn, you might flip the coin, and uh, I just accidentally um, hit the bottle, and it drops from my table. Um, you can just, you know, you might flip a coin, shuffle your hand in your deck, then draw six cards. If you do that, um, your turn ends. It's actually not a bad card for the um, future format. And there's like Fairy Charm, alright, which says that eh, damage done to Fairy Pokemon. Fairy Pokemon with um, Fairy Charm attached. GX or EX Pokemons cannot attack him. All right, all right then. <clears throat> I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking about first using this Shockle for the fresh squeeze. Fire, lighting, metal energy. Thanks for doing that, Shockle. You're really nice support here. Um, Professor Elm, I guess for two more executes. Actually we can do something like this, which is even better. Execute, Woolpix, and then I can put the Dito on the bench. And I can multiply, but my bench is full, so nothing's gonna happen. All right, and why then I attached energy to my active execute? That is a really nice question. Really, really damn nice question. But anyways, since I have nine tools, even if my opponent knocks my execute out, it's not a big deal. I can always grab myself a net ball and something else with the nine tools, like a custom catcher, so I can draw some cards, or maybe even better that Pokey Nav. Sounds much more. Uh, <clears throat> better in my opinion. Okay, Whimsicott GX. Why not? Why not to play versus Troll Whimsicott? Oh, Beacon just for nothing. Alright, so luckily I somehow managed to survive there. I'm really lucky guy. I'm not sure my opponent will have option to survive. There's literally no way that he can survive this turn. Like, literally there is no way. I'm gonna throw that mysterious treasure out for that executor, and other than that, 
I'm gonna attach energy and swing with my tropical shake. I do have enough energies in my discord pile, I can hit for 80. So taking the first prize card in the game is always welcome. I'm gonna play versus Whimsicott. Yeah, this is gonna be a little bit tricky to beat that deck, but I'm not gonna give up. There's no way for that. And there's a Katon and another um, Whimsicott GX, which says that with a toy box you can search the deck for up to five cards, put them into your hand. Um, it has very powerful Fluffy Cotton ability, which says that if any damage is done to this Pokemon by attacks, flip a coin if heads prevent that damage. And that's just insane. Literally it is. Hmm. Not quite sure why Rebombi. This is just much better with Porygon Z, but okay, maybe I'm wrong. He hits me for like 80 with just a single energy card. And yeah, the truth is I can swing just for 80. Um, why not to get something like double custom catcher play and why not just to try to knock that Rebombi out? Because that's the energy acceleration for my opponent. It is actually not energy acceleration, but it is a card that allows him to get some energies into his hand. Three copies of Pokinav. I don't need that. I definitely don't need that. I'm gonna play Mis uh, Mysterious Treasure and I'm gonna grab myself a another Execute. Executor actually, and after that I'm ready for another Pokenav play, and I'm thinking about... Nice, Grass Energy is here, I already attached one. Um, the card that I'm desperately trying to find is definitely a Shrine of Punishment, which is a tech card in my deck and can be definitely good against Whimsicott. <laughs> Just another Virgin Force, not the card I'm looking for. I'm definitely looking for a Shrine of Punishment. Okay, so with two energies, he's hitting for like um, 40, 70, 140. So he needs three energies in order to knock me out with just a single shot. Really tough, really tough match. Like, really, really tough matchup here. Um, I'm gonna go for that energy attachment onto my Ninetals. I'm gonna need it desperately. Even knowing that I can't swing for too much, I'm still trying to do something out. So, time to put another egg on the bench and use Tropical Shake. It's just pretty much 50-50 chance to do the damage since he flipped the heads on the coin flip. Unfortunately, I can't deal damage to my opponent and that's pretty sad. There is a double course energy, meaning that he can simply nax out my Executor right now for the weakness. And he will go down to four price cards, meaning that I can potentially try to sledgehammer him for 120. And... That's the exactly the thing that I'm gonna do. Other than that... Okay, so this time he flipped tails. Alright, so if he flipped the tails also first time and the second time he would be knocked out right now, but he didn't. And the problem is that he have um, advantage because of the weakness. And once again, I'm running only one Grass um, Executor. Um, I prefer to run uh, those Dragon types because they're much more easier to pull out with Mysterious Treasure. And that's the reason why I'm running 3-1. In this matchup, probably two copies of each would be much better. Um, there's the Energy Blow for 130. Do I have enough for the Knockout with the Ninetals right now if I get lucky? Yes, I have. Uh, will I get lucky? That is just another question. It's very questionable. Um, there is a Shrine of Punishment. Alright, and a Grass version of Exeggutor. And 
more than that, there's an Aligo as well. So first things first, let's just grab that Grass Energy into our hand. And after that, two, three, I think I still might have one copy, just uh, Shockle. All right, gonna get rid of it. So we'll definitely use Shrine of Punishment right now. If I get lucky with the Snow Wind, if he flipped Tails in the coin flip, I'm gonna swing for 30 that Whimsic on the bench. Unfortunately, nope, not gonna happen. But he took 30 on the bench. Uh, maybe better option for me would be just to try to double hit knock of that Cleefa. Yeah, when I, when I realized that, actually that would be a much better option. Well, never mind. Um, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 16. Um, one more double cores energy and he can nax me out. Well, or he can simply use Mina. And attach energy. Well, I tried, I tried to use, I tried to use advantage, but I couldn't, it didn't help me. I was trying basically to knock that Whimsicott out right now. Uh, oh, what the heck? He didn't have energy? Shrine of Punishment? I'm like down to 180. Oh my goodness, that was actually very close. I'm very surprised. So, still I have that Vulpix available. Snow Wind. 50. Um, it doesn't matter actually. Once again, he flipped hands on the coin flip. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me there. You got to be kidding me there. Literally, he has so much luck here that I simply can't do too much versus that. There's the ace roller play, so he managed to scoop that whimsy cut. The amount of the cards in my opponent's hand is just way too big. And literally, there is nothing I can do about that. He will have knockout right now this turn, and next turn, the only thing that my opponent will need will be just a Guzma. And with the Guzma, he can swing for the knockout against either way, Executor, maybe even Shockle if, if, if he wants. The Guzma is the only card that he needs for the win. And once again, very, very bad matchup, I should say that. Um, can we at least try to get Edge here and the Knockout versus Bench at Whimsicott? I think theoretically we can, and that's the exactly the thing that I'm gonna do. And other than that, I still have like energies available. So one, two. And three, one, two, three, four, five. Okie dokie. So what I can do here, I can grab a grass energy, attach it onto my nine tools just in case. Maybe he flip tails in the coin flip and tropical shake for the knockout. All right, there we go. Well, maybe I can still win this game if you don't have Guzma available. It is a big question, but who knows? The Guzma is the only card that he needs. And it looks like he don't have Guzma because he promoted that Whimsicott in the front. And then again, I can swing just for 120. And 100... Oh, he have Guzma. What the heck? Oh, he have free retreat with the Cleefa. Alright, thumbs up. Energy blow for 130 with a triple acceleration energy and that is unfortunately knocking my friends and the GG so I did my best actually in both games I did my best I played well but really hard to play versus current cards in the current uh, format because you know those Guzmas are just too strong thank you for watching make sure to hit the thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more videos we'll see you next time as always have a nice day and goodbye